it's my turn to do Ask GUG. All right, so I got a couple of questions. We'll try and quick fire it. Daniel Moxie asked, yes. Can you really answer that question? I mean, in all of the complexities that is life and and living, I mean, yes. I can't. I, is that even? My mind can't wrap around that question to answer it. You know, there's just so many possibilities. No, uh, that's what I'm gonna go. Maybe. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Josh Morris asks, "Do you like the new DLC for Destiny?" Yes, I like it. It's more story driven. I know some people are like, ah, oh, they didn't add a, uh, a raid. Yeah, but you have the Prison of Elders, which is pretty rad. Um, plus, it's a whole lot easier to get like good gear now. That's I've done both raids, kind of. I, I don't. I think I did. Yeah, I have done both raids. Now, that, yeah. Uh, they're cool. I, I think Vault of Glass is probably the best one, but I don't, I don't want, like, I get frustrated easily, and when, for an hour, you're stuck at the same spot, you're just like, okay, okay, we got it this time, uh, no, no, you didn't, you didn't, you gotta do it again. That's why I like Prison of Elders so far. I think the one thing I will say that I don't like, is I don't like that every mode in Prison of Elders is matchmaking, because there's sometimes where it's like, I wanna play this, like, three or four times, you know, or and try and get some cool gear, but nobody I play with is online. So <laughs> Nolan Brown asks, why is Link a better solid protagonist than Gordon Freeman? Yeah, I said it. He's not. Really neither one of them are better than the other. Yeah, I get they both have kind of their pluses that have helped change you know, Ocarina of Time really changed kind of the 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 industry and you saw a lot well you really didn't see that many now that I think of it. Well no you did. I don't know. I didn't have an N sixty four. Gordon Freeman didn't I'd say Half Life as more is what helped change shooters because it was really after like Half Life when you started seeing uh first person shooters become more story driven. You know, before that it was really just your dooms, which had stories, but eh, who cares? It was you was playing multiplayer. You used play Doom Two, you used play multiplayer, Quake Three, you used play multiplayer, Unreal Tournament, used, Quake, Quake Three had a story. Who who knew that? Yeah. Matthew Walters asked, If you could be any animal, what would it be and why is it a walrus? Well sir, it is not a walrus. I would be I identify myself as a shark a great white shark mostly because i would just travel to south africa to seal island and jump out of the water and eat the seals like because that is on my bucket list one day to not eat seals at seal island but to go to seal island and watch the shark the great whites breach there i think that is so awesome and i love shark week this year might be good the last couple years of shark week has been a little too much like mockumentaries and and not real science so i read something where the new president discovery was like yeah we're not doing that dumb stuff anymore we're actually going to go back to science and that's why you see like mythbusters is taking a new format in their show this season hunter asks why don't people see that pc is the master race price i think is the main point i think too many people are still afraid of oh it's a pc i can get viruses and stuff yeah i mean those are all viable problems but with steam boxes coming out and like alienware has one out now i think it's called the alpha its base price is 550 that's a little steep honestly you could build a gaming pc for 400 bucks or cheaper like you could build it the a, an equivalent gaming pc to what specs the consoles have for under 400 bucks i think that's the main thing that's going to change is as these steam boxes come out and they do allow upgrade upgrades and stuff on them so you can change like the ram and video card and stuff hopefully more people will start doing those over like the consoles because you're going to always get the best version of the game on pc A great example is that is the definitive editions that's been coming out on consoles this year 99.9 percent .9 of those are just the PC version that they've just ported over. The only two that I can think of that wasn't is Last of Us because it never came on PC and the Tomb Raider one because they actually went back and did up-res character models and stuff and, and 
but they still use the PC version as the base. Uh, another good reason is pro I did a Steam calculator thing a while back and I was writing a paper and I have 200 plus games in my Steam library. I think the Steam calculator said that would have been $2,700 around that uh, at full price. Uh, I was actually closer to like seven seventy that I've spent on those games because I buy them. I don't buy unless it's a game I absolutely must play now. The last game that I bought brand new or pre-bought was Magicka 2, which comes out this Tuesday. Any other game, I've waited till it's hit a sale, whether it's $20, $20 off or wait till the summer Steam sale, which is coming up. So I'm going to wrap it up on that. Your questions need answering. So thanks for watching.